Hi, this has been The Librarian, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some searching through the databases for your paper and how to cite those sources. So what I'm going to do, first step, is go to library.highline.edu, since I'm doing this off campus. Here we go. So in my OneSearch feature on the library main page, I'm going to start typing in some of my search terms. In this paper, I'm looking for some peer-reviewed sources, and this is about Trump and the Muslim immigration ban in the U.S. So let's go for immigration. See what we get. Okay, so if I just put in the word immigration into the search bar, I get over one and a half million results. That's too many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add what are called Boolean search terms, which are and, or, the word or, always in capital letters. So let's do and Islam. Let's see what we get now. 43,800. Still too many, and this is all books. Doesn't really help me. Let's do another one. And Trump. Okay, 7,100 results. Now we can start drilling into this even further. So I want some peer-reviewed journals. 643, getting much, much better. Still a lot, but it's something that I can start digging through. And since I know a specific date that this uh, ban was put in place or attempted to be put in place, I'm going to say 2016 to 2019. 361. Okay, so what I did is over here on the left-hand side of the screen, it says active filters and narrow my results. Active filters are telling me what some of the filters I'm using at this time. So I'm using a year's range, which is helpful if you know exactly when an event occurred, and peer-reviewed journals, because that's what my instructor wants. Now, under that, I also have a lot of other options under narrow my results. So I can do everything from, is it open access? It'll even break down the subject line, some authors if I'm looking for a particular writer, and multiple languages. So let's see what we have here. And let's see if I can find an article that I really like. Academics must protest against Trump's travel ban, but they should do so productively. Trump's immigration ban stokes steers for science. Designating Muslims, Islam, and the Western policy imagination. You know what? Let's go to the first one because it's hitting all of the resource, the sources that I'm looking for. So select that one. Now it's going to bring up the actual article. And I want to go to full text. So what, it ha what happens is that will then show me all the full texts that are available online. So let's go through ProQuest Library. And these are great. These are all databases that you can access from home at any point. And that's one of the advantages of being a student at Highline or any college is they pay money for all of these databases to be accessible to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay, here we go. So here's the whole article right here that I can then scroll through. I can read the notes from it. I can then also see on the right-hand side some articles that are related to it, which is really helpful. But what I'm really here to show you is how to cite it. So this is what I like to do when I write a paper. I find an article I like, I read the abstract. Now the abstract is just a couple sentences that will tell, sort of summarize everything that's in the article for you. I don't have all night to read 50 different articles, but if I read an abstract, I know it's in it. 
So I read it, mm -hmm, overturn, perfect. This will work great. So what I want to do is I do my research. I will hit site. Now, another screen will pop up. This will look different in various different databases that you use, but they all essentially function the same way. I go through, I select what sort of style my instructor wants. Let's say my instructor wants me to cite using the MLA 8th edition, and that's the Modern Language Association. Okay, here we go. Gives me all the information that I would need if I was going to cite this in a paper. So what I'll do is, I usually do this when I build. As I do my research, I will build a bibliography. I will copy this open up a Word document, just have it open in the background while I'm doing my research, and I'll do something like immigration paper, and there, boom. I have a running list of all the articles that I might be interested in that I can go back later and that I can reference, and this also... Uh, helps cut down on the work at the end of the paper when I'm done writing it. I can look through and say, yes, I used this article. No, I didn't use that article. And it really saves you a lot of time. So I hope this helps. Have a great night.